Hello and welcome to Nicholas Genetics Lessons and today I got a message from one of my subscribers with a problem and he is a problem, a man with Huntington disease who is heterozygous and normal woman have two children and here is the three questions what is the probability that only a, the second child has a disease what is the probability that none of the children has disease and uh, question C, what is the probability that only one child has a disease? So, uh, if you think that you can solve this uh, problem and answer three questions, I encourage you to pause video here, try to solve uh, this problem and answer each question on your own first. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And first of all, just few words about this genetic disorder. This is dominant genetic disorder. What does it mean? That means that uh, in order to have this genetic disorder, only one allele is needed. So if a person would be, uh, for example, capital A and small a, he would have this genetic disorder. And uh, of course, if he is going to be uh, capital A, capital A, he also would have this genetic disorder in severe form and if he is going to be small a, small a, only in this case he is going to be uh, phenotypically and genotypically normal. So abnormal genotype would be this too, that would cause genetic disorder. And uh, we know that this person is heterozygous so his genotype is capital A, small a, and what would happen if we would have um, one person who is heterozygous, in our example this is a male, and female who is uh, normal, uh, this is not sex related uh, genetic disorder, this is autosomal genetic disorder, so regardless of the sex of their progeny, they would have following uh, probabilities to get this genetic disorder. So heterozygous here, homozygous normal here, heterozygous here, and homozygous normal here. So as you see, 50% of uh, progeny going to be normal, phenotypically and genotypically normal, and 50% of the progeny, regardless of the sex, would be affected with this genetic disorder. Uh, we can say that one half or 50% or 0 0.5, that is going to be all the same numbers. So now how we are going to solve this problem? Let's start with question A, what is the probability that only the second child has a disease. And uh, I think the easiest way to demonstrate how to solve this problem would be fork line method. So uh, we have a couple and this couple has uh, two variants what uh, the child would be. Whether, as uh, you see, this can be affected child 50% so let's put um, that this is going to be affected child or this child can be normal there is only two variants so one half chances that the first child would be affected and one half chances that the first child would be normal I want to highlight that circle here doesn't mean female. This is just a child, affected child and non-affected child. So um, when this couple would have uh, the first child, they also may have the second child. And we told that uh, this couple has two children. So uh, once again, if the first child would be affected, what is the probability that second child would be unaffected? And once again, the probability is one half. And if uh, the uh, first child 
affected, what is the probability that the second child would be also affected. And probability, according to our Punnett square, is also going to be 1 half. So let me put these chances here. And in scenario where the first child would be unaffected, what is the probability that uh, the second child also would be unaffected? And once again, probability would be one half. And what uh, is the probability that uh, the second child would be affected? The probability would be also one half. So once again, uh, this is frame for the two probabilities for the first child to be whether affected or not affected. And uh, here is another frame for the second child whether to be affected or unaffected. So once again, first child, second child. So now we can easily answer all three questions. So what is the probability that only the second child has a disease? And as you see, total number of probabilities. So this is one variant, this is second variant, this is third variant, and this is fourth variant. So we have total number of variants, four. Uh, what is the probability that only second child has a disease? That means that first child have to be normal and only second child have to have this genetic disorder and probability as you see would be one out of four. So probability of uh, this uh, pathway would be one out of four. One out of four. Or we can just multiply these numbers. One half by one half would give us probability of one fourth uh, of such um, scenario. One half probability, so this is 100%, so this would be 50% of one half that the first child would be unaffected, and one half probabilities, so this is two variants, uh, one half probability that the second child would be affected. So we have to multiply this uh, two independent probabilities, and this is going to be our answer. So one quarter would be an answer for the first question. So now question B, what is the probability that none of the children has the disease? And as you see, we have only one such variant here when first child is unaffected and second child is also unaffected. So here is this pathway. And uh, as you see, total number of variants would be one, two, three, four. So once again, uh, such probability would be one out of total number of probabilities that is four, so one fourth. So one fourth would be an answer to this question. One fourth. And the last question. What is the probability that only one child has the disease? And uh, let's count how many variants we have here. In this variant, we have only first child affected and second not affected. We have to exclude this variant, two affected children here. We have to exclude this variant because none is affected here. And this is variant where also one child is affected and this is second child. So in this pathway, uh, one child is affected, the first one, and second is not affected. And uh, in this scenario, we also have uh, an affected child, but this time an affected is the first child and affected second child. So we have two variants. So uh, one quarter here and uh, one quarter here. Or in other words, two out of 
four variants. One variant, second variant, third variant, fourth variant. And two variants meet uh, requirements of this question. So we also may say that one quarter plus uh, one quarter would give us one half. So the answer would be one half to this question. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.